want to be lifting the leg. I've started to enjoy stretching a little bit more. We were able to go out into nature together and we kind of leaned into becoming yogi. But that is also the area I thought he needed to work the most on. Welcome to another 30, 60, 90 video. This channel is all about progress. I pick a new skill to master every 90 days and I release videos at 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days showing you the progress. This is the second video in my 90 days of stretching like a ballerina. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll leave a link in the description below. But here's a short recap of what happened during the first 30 days of trying to train like a ballerina. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can stay tuned for my next uploads. Days 60 through 90 will be uploaded next week. Before starting this stretching process, I was extremely inflexible. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in this journey. Hi, my name is Rebecca and I am Josh's sister and I helped him along the journey. Stretching was nothing like what I had anticipated before, but the routine my sister put together, it was divided into two categories, dynamic stretching for the first half and static stretching for the second half. But every time I stretched, my sister would correct little bits and pieces of my stretching. About halfway through the month, my sister went back to Utah. When she did, I was presented with some motivation issues. Fortunately, through Zoom, she was able to correct my stretching. I didn't really become a lot more flexible quickly. Rather, I started feeling better when I did stretch, and I no longer had shin splints, my shoulders felt loose, my posture was better. So there were a lot of positive effects to this stretching that I would like to continue seeing in the future. The main goal for these next 30 days, days 30 through 60, is going to be to continue the stretching routine, but to practice pushing myself harder than I was the first 30 days. I noticed the last little bit, I started pushing myself a lot harder than I had been for the first bit of the 30 day challenge, and that's when I started making real progress. So I have to listen to my sister's advice and go as far as I can, and then push it a little further and hold that for a minute. The motivation to do that every day for every stretch is hard to come by, but hopefully I can at least put that up for the next 30 days. The first 30 days were pretty hard. I didn't really know what I was getting into when I started, but these 30 days, days 30 through days 60, were a lot easier. I've started to enjoy stretching a little bit more, my alignment's a lot better, and I don't feel quite as much pain every time I do every single stretch. I've started stretching outside, getting in the sun, and allowing myself to really enjoy my time instead of just feel the pain the whole time. And it still is very painful, but I'm enjoying it quite a bit more. Fortunately, partway through the month, my sister came back from ballet camp. The first half of the month, I was stretching alone, which was a lot harder for me to do. But when she came back, I was able to correct the bad habits that I had developed and start stretching correctly again. Good. Okay, so when you do them, you're going to want to try to not tuck your pelvis forward like that. Okay. Just keep your pelvis the same the whole time. All right. Okay, so while you keep your pelvis the same, you don't want to be lifting your leg like that. Right. <laughs> you want to just let it swing, try to make it a bit more free so it's more of a stretch. Good. Okay, so when you do the sideways lunges, instead of like coming up and then sliding, you can let your legs slide when you go from side to side, but try to keep your legs kind of in the same position, then let it slide, then bring them back to the position you can hold, let it slide. Okay. Good. Yeah, and then also when you're doing that, you're gonna go back down. <laughs> you're gonna wanna keep your leg rotated this way. Good. Nice. Good job. When I came back from the summer ballet camp I was at, I definitely noticed Joshua's progress. His hamstrings had gotten a lot more flexible. That was probably the area of his body I noticed the most progress in. But I also noticed a big change in his dynamic stretching. 
His dynamic stretching seemed to be a lot easier for him after the first 30 days and it seemed like he was able to go through the movements without forcing his muscles and gripping in the wrong places. And like Joshua said, his alignment had improved quite a bit, but that is also the area I thought he needed to work the most on. And that's because at the beginning of the 30 days, I tried to correct his alignment, but it was hard to do since he was so inflexible. Now that he's gotten used to the stretches and he's gained some flexibility, I really want him to focus on making sure he has the correct form when he stretches. Having my sister back was a lot of fun. We were able to go out into nature together and we kind of leaned into becoming yogis. We went to the beach, we went into the forest, we would stretch in our backyard. I even bought one of those yoga mats so that I could really feel like I was a true yoga participant. By the end of these 60 days, I hadn't gotten as flexible as I had anticipated becoming, but I had improved a lot. Like my sister said, my weakest area has always been my hamstrings. I've always struggled to even get past my knees when trying to reach down to my toes. So I definitely have noticed a lot of improvement there. When I do my static stretching, I now can hold my toes individually instead of reaching for them fruitlessly, but I'm still not quite getting there with both hands. By the end of these 60 days, I was pretty close to reaching my toes simultaneously, but I wasn't quite there yet. Hopefully, by day 90, I can reach my toes. Make sure to stay tuned for that video, which I'll be releasing a week after this one, and leave a comment below if there are any other skills you'd like to see me try next.